So in terms of investing stuff, you, you mentioned Walker and Company. I think it's uh, Tristan Walker's company. I think it's an intriguing idea uh, that, that, that it's curious to me that that's a Silicon Valley idea. Talk to me about that idea briefly and, and sort of how you see that as a, as a Silicon Valley idea itself. Well, it's interesting how uh, Tristan Walker came up with the idea, you know, um, and being African-American, uh, we both know how tough it is to get certain products uh, just in a regular pharmacy or uh, convenience store. You know, it's a small section of, uh, you know, health or uh, skincare products. And you look at the financial side of that and how much uh, the urban community spends on uh, health and, and skincare products is double of all the other uh, categories combined. And we're underserved. So the idea was basically there. You know, you kind of just put those metrics together. You know, we always talk about analytics and it's everywhere, not just basketball. And that's how you come up with this company and that's how you see the growth and that's where the vision comes from. And uh, there's a company, uh, Maven as well, that's similar um, in hair extensions and how you can try to scale those to be global brands. and. Uh, I think both are, you know, trending towards that. Let me ask you finally about the Players Technology Summit, the thing you and Steph Curry are doing uh, with Bloomberg. What are you trying to do there? What are, who are you trying to uh, uh, school, and, and, and what do you think you might learn from that experience? I think we're trying to school both sides. You know, this is the uh, first annual uh, the Players Tech Summit, and we're going to have uh, the top VCs, um, some business moguls as well. Uh, we're going to have the top athletes. Um, you know, I did something uh, similar with the NBA Players Association uh, last year with just basketball players, and uh, we saw the, the reach that NBA players have on a global sp scale, being you know the number one sport globally, and I think China has played a huge influence on that as well. And um, I think brands, players' brands, and endorsements are changing. You know, you have to change that 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 template that you know agencies have been doing for so long and it's kind of becoming outdated and you see the players reach um, are, are, are actually exceeding uh, some of the companies reach you know you talk about certain guys having you know eight nine ten million uh, followers on social um, networks and you see some companies who don't even right. have half that maybe so it's not all about the next uh, next sneaker deal right so you talk about ownership you talk about equity and you talk about how do you um, scale that. How, you, how do you scale a player's reach? And there's a lot of conversation to be had on both sides. The players can learn from, you know, a lot of VCs and, and, and uh, tech companies, and the, and the tech companies can learn from the players. So you get us all in a room. You get the top from both sides. And um, you know, there's um, so much that can be learned and can be turned into something that. Uh, has never been seen before as far as how do we uh, maximize uh, the reach of the two sides combined. It's kind of like you talk about um, analytics and the, 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 the feel of the game and how do you combine those two is, is similar to that.